Good morning, good afternoon. This is Mornings with Michael with for information and educational purposes only. We go over to our Bitcoin. Everything is a bit slow this morning. Here we are with Bitcoin went up to 64,500 and now is pulling back. Let us go over to our charts and see most everything is negative. Uh, energy, Eli Lilly is up, Pfizer is up and Nvidia, Nvidia was up much stronger. Cicatrix, a scar or heal wound is our word of the day. So Stella still had a cicatrix around her knee. She had fully healed from her surgery. Oh, I think that rhymes. And let us go over to our charts. Got a gap up here. We got a gap up here, surging above 4%. So the bond traders think they know a little bit more about than the Fed, where things are moving. So that is a story that is affecting all of the markets. Take a look at the dollar. It is remains strong. Silver is retracing above the 10-day. So is gold. Uranium. And so is our favorite miner. Take a look at our 20-year bond yields. Not quite, looks like they may have um, gapped up two days in a row. So they're up 1.44%. The VIX will be bouncing. Gets to 22.78. Right up here, around 26.88, I believe is our target. That means the S&P 500 is retracing, pulling back 0.9%. Equal weight in the S&P is pulling back to the 20-day moving average. The NASDAQ pulling back to the 20 as well. The equal weight in the NASDAQ doing about the same thing, off 1%. Small capitalization is off 1.1. Dow Jones is pulling back to the 20-day off about 1%. Got a lot number of financials reporting this week. That is off 1.31%. Wells Fargo was up earlier. Still is up 0.26%. JP Morgan, I believe they report on Friday. It's pulling back 0.34%. Communications, pulling back 1.3%. Take a look at Meta. Try to move higher is pulling back. Google pulling back to the 20 day off 2%. Real estate when is pulling below the 50 day. Utilities pulling back below the 20 day. Take a look over at China. The K web remains of right about where it was on Friday. And iShares China is moving up. Take a look at Hutu in the brokerage. Continues its strong move. This is our e-vehicle. Continues another gap up today. Take a look at a biotech. It's turning down. And infrastructure holding steady. Semiconductors holding steady. Consumer discretionary pulls back to the 20 day. Let's take a look at Tesla pulling back to the 20 day. And Amazon is selling off as well. So that's hurting that index. Consumer staples continues moving down. Industrials hold in steady. Healthcare pulling down. Airlines holding pretty steady. Leisure activities, not too bad. 
as they work on the right side of their base right here. Home builders pulling back a little bit to the 20 day, they got below it and then fighting back. Look at Fang Yu, right before we go to the news, is off 4%. Hurricane Milton is on track to hit Florida midweek, bringing more storm damage and flood warnings to weather battered residents recovering from Hurricane Helene's disastrous impact. Milton was a Category 1 storm late Sunday, and winds reaching 85 miles an hour. They have upgraded to a powerful Category 4 hurricane with winds exceeding 130 miles per hour in the southern Gulf of Mexico. On to our sector news. We just looked at Amazon, it's moving down, downgraded to equal weight from overweight at Wells Fargo and cut target to 183 from 225. So that is what's happening there. Constellation Brands downgraded to neutral from buy at Bank of America and cut target to 255 from 300. And that is selling off of one and a quarter percent today. Vista Outdoor which split itself into ammunitions and outdoor goods business, agreed to sell both divisions for a total of $3.4 billion. Vista will sell its outdoor goods unit, Revelis, to strategic value partners in an all-cash transaction and an enterprise value of about $1.13 billion. And that is gapping up. It's up 10% today. On to energy, industrials, and materials. Barnes Group said it has entered into a definitive agreement to be acquired by funds managed by affiliates of Apollo Global Management. And that is gapping up near its pivot point today. It did move up on Friday as well. Take a look at APO, Apollo Global, selling off a little bit off 1.13%. Chevron said it would sell non-operated interests in Athabasca oil sands project and its operated interests in Duvamai shale to Canadian National Resources for $6.5 billion. Chevron is moving up slightly today. And Canadian Natural Resources gapping up and moving higher at 2.6%. Activist investor Mantle Ridge has bought a more than $1 billion stake in air products and plans to push for improvements in the industrial gas manufacturer, according to people familiar with the matter. Air products has a market value of around $63 billion as of Friday, and it is moving on up today, up another 9%. Moving on, looks like it's moving out of the pivot zone. And let us go on to BP, British Petroleum has abandoned the target to cut oil and gas output by 2030. The CEO, Murray Oxenkloss, scaled back the firm's energy transition strategy to regain investor confidence. And it's moving up above the 50-day moving average there, up about 1% today. Rio Tinto expressed interest in acquiring U.S. lithium producer Arcadium. Pulling back on that news, 0.34. And let's look at Arcadium. The two companies confirmed in a separate statements on Monday, no financial specifics were disclosed. Rio Tinto said there is no certainty that the transaction will be agreed to. No, pause here for a moment. We've got... um, 3M. Company, the U.S. Judicial Panel of multi-district litigation told 3M again on Friday that litigation seeking to form a nationwide class of individuals with PFAS in their blood belongs in federal district court. On to financials, Comerica downgraded to underperform for neutral at Bank of America and cut target 52 from 55. It is off slightly 1.41%. Healthcare. Activist investor Starboard Value, roughly $1 billion stake in Pfizer, and wants a struggling drug maker to make changes to its performance round, according to people familiar with the matter. And Pfizer is gapping up 2% today. Hims and Hers Health 
over a flight's vector group in the S&P small cap 600 effective prior to the opening trading October 9th. It caps up 10.76% uh, on that news. Vector group, pretty flat. It looks like they got a cash offer to buy the company. So that's probably why they're being replaced. Technology, media, and telecom. We looked at Google before. Its grip on nearly 300 billion search advertising business is loosening. According to the Wall Street Journal, for years, the tech giant has seemed invincible in this corner of the ad market, which is the foundation of its business. Now, rivals are beginning to eat into its lead. The new offerings fueled by the rise of artificial intelligence, social video threatened to reshape the landscape. And it is off 2% today. Mobile Eye downgraded to underweight from neutral at JP Morgan and cut target to $10 from 16. And it is off four and a quarter percent today. Let us go over to our daily activities. It's up 10% and 200% increase in volume. We got eight items. Biohaven is number one, up 10.29%. 200% increase in volume. We looked at Canadian, well, this is Canadian solar, uh, not Canadian resources, up 10.35%. Volume increased 471%. Donald Trump business is up 10.42%, 274% increase in volume. Ehang Holdings, a China based company that designs, develops, sells, Autonomous aerial vehicles and services gaps up and is up 20%. Hims and hers, we just looked at. Jinko Solar, which was up big on Friday, continues to be big up of the 10%, 968% increase in volume. And Scholar Rock Holding, that was a big mover in the pandemic 2020, and it gaps up. 346%. That is quite a move. And Visto, we looked at in the news as well. It is up 10% and 943% in volume. Let us take a look at what we're currently doing our portfolio. I'm going to just bring that up here on my handheld device. Along with the rest of the market, we're off a little bit today. What is moving? We haven't really done anything. We closed out part of our ELF options trade. As it pulls back here to 100, I think that interest rate is hurting it. FedEx continue to hold. We have that $33 covered call option on VidX. Hava is bouncing a little bit, up 0.48%. Nvidia got a nice move today, up 2.76%. Got a little bit of a pullback on Q, Triple M Holdings. Still continue to hold that. Um, we talked about uh, Natera holding right around 128. We got a spread trade on Garden Health. 22.50 is a buy and 27 is a short. Let's we'll see if we want to continue holding this. Uh, Dave holding pretty steady. Off 1.28%, not doing too bad. Reddit, a little bit of a pullback, still in the pivot area. Got the options on American Superconductor at 22, short at 30. Um, and Oracle, continue to hold Oracle, hold it under. Technology, still above the pivot, continue to hold that. Futu, 
our Chinese company brokerage continues to go up. We put a spread on MicroStrategy, 180 to 190. That is working. And BRT popped into the pivot zone here, uh, up 1.41%. Thinking about adding to it, um, we'll just hold off on that right at the moment. See, um, that's pretty much what we're doing. Hope everybody has a great day. Go out there and make a difference. And we'll catch you back here on Taco Tuesday. Remember, what we do is what we do. You need to do your own due diligence to find out if it's right for you. If you have any questions about your financial goals, feel free to reach out to us. We look forward to seeing you again tomorrow.